singles uh, from New South Wales coming up. Deb Swan and Sue Ellen Ty. Yeah, thanks, Patty. Uh, yeah, I'm Debbie from New South Wales Grandmothers Against Removal. And so Ellen's here with me, and we've got another sister girl down there, Jenny. Um, yeah, we just come over to show our support um, to Vanessa. We had a good couple of weeks in Canberra where we sat down and, and talked and decided, you know, did some strategies and uh, talked about yeah, how we're going to keep pushing this grandmothers against removal and stop the removal of our kids. Now, Tony Abbott said sorry. I don't know what the six years ago, seven years ago. It was a rat. Oh, Cameron Rudd, sorry. Rudd. Rudd. But why say sorry if then you're just going to take more kids? You know, there's more kids in care than there's ever been. And he said sorry. If there's no action behind the sorry, then what's the point in him saying sorry? And what, what's the point in him having to bring them home report there and they're not taking notice of any of the recommendations? What's the point? That should show our people. These governments do nothing for us. They do nothing for us. Nothing for our people. They can do as many inquiries as they want and come up with recommendations, but they still do nothing. So they are not our friends. No, no, none of these politicians are our friends. They give little band-aid things that you know, we think we're happy with, people happy with little band-aid things that they give us. It's not going to solve the problem. The problem is, and the, the way to solve it is to give us back our rights to do our own child protection. Don't take our kids. Let our families decide where these kids live. You don't need to decide where our kids live. Now they got loving parents, loving grandparents, loving aunties and uncles. And that's where you need to leave the kids. With their mob. I just want to thank the Western Australian people for inviting us over. Uh, and we'll be there to support you all the way. We've got our we've got actually got a national grandmothers against removal. We'll be happy for anyone to come and join us. And you need to get out there and encourage all our other of our other nations to come on board because we're not going to get heard or seen or doing that stuff if we don't come together. So we need to come together, we need to fight this, we need to make these people give our kids back to us, not to take our kids because they are our future. Thank you. I'm a member of the Grandmothers Against Removal along with Aunty Deb and Aunty Jen down in the crowd there. It's very important that we understand that this is happening all across Australia. So Grandmothers Against Removal New South Wales are standing strong in solidarity with Western Australian Nguyen Mop. And we are with you, we feel your pain, we know exactly what you're going through. And it's so horrifying to know that these community closures expose more of these young Aboriginal children into the care system and Australia needs to be ashamed of that because it's not going to change unless we do something about it. We need to leave this charge. And these young children, they experience horrifying atrocities and that's exactly what they are in care. They're atrocities. They're being molested. Some are even dying in care. Where is that in the media? Where are these deaths of these Aboriginal kids in care? Where are these carers? Sorry, I will not call them carers because they do exactly the opposite. Where are these people who, gain, who get access to these children and physically, emotionally abuse these kids? They are being abused in care. Where are those statistics? I challenge this government to come out and say we are not going to have this anymore. We cannot have kids in the 2015 in Australia who are dying in care by the very system that is meant to be protecting them. Care and protection? Bullshit. They're the worst abusers that are in this country at this present time now. And they've been doing it for centuries. So we need to save them no more. Our kids are our lifeline, they're our blood, they're our history, they're our future. We need to protect them from the very protectors themselves, or so-called protectors. They've tried this for over 200 years and they're still bloody no good at it. Our kids and our people are still suffering. We need to make sure that these 
Wadulas? Is that the word for over here? Wadulas? Who yeah. yeah. fingers round right their ass and pick their heads up and have a look and see what's happening. Because if they don't, this is going to continue. We need to make sure that they hear us. And we need to be loud. If they still can't hear us, we need to get louder. Because otherwise, more and more generations are going to suffer. And the apology from Kevin Rudd, the apology without action, is a joke. You say a word sorry and it means nothing. I say to all of the Prime Ministers that have been in charge of this country since they've landed on the boats, you've done nothing but try and push us down as a people. But we're here today in 2015 and we're still bloody strong. Thank you.